When we are looking at solving a system of linear equations graphically, let's remember a couple things first. Remember, when we have two or more equations, this is called a system of equations. So it could be two, three, four, five, ten, twelve, doesn't matter. Anything more than one equation or two or more is a system of equations. And let's just recall there are three possible solutions when we're solving a system of linear equations. That's what we're going to look at, linear equations. Well, what kind of solutions could we have? Well, if we have one line like so and another line like so, that would be one possible solution. And what happens in this case? The lines cross at one point and we get one solution. We could also have lines like so. One line going like this, and another line going right beside it, parallel lines. And in parallel lines, we have no solution. The last type you could potentially have is you could have one line like so, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different color to visual or to show you this, and another line like so. And what happens is those lines are the exact same line, one on top of the other. And in that case, we would have infinite solutions. So we already looked at that, the three possible solutions. What we're going to concern ourselves with when we're solving a system of equations graphically is this case right here, when we have one solution, two lines crossing. So let's look at an example. So let's solve this system of equations graphically. Now recall, the only way we can graph an equation right now is we're just going to use the form y equals mx plus b. Now these two equations are not in that form, so we're going to have to put them in that form. How do we put them in that form? Well, we need to solve both of them for y. So I'm going to take the first equation, and we have 2x sorry, 2y, and I'm going to just move the x to the other side by subtracting x from both sides. So that gives you negative x plus 6. Now we don't want to solve for y, or 2y, we want to get y by itself, so we need to divide everything by 2. And what we're going to get is we're going to get this equation, y equals negative x over 2 plus three. So there is our first equation solved for. What about our second equation? Well, same thing. I'm going to take the x and move it to the other side, and that's going to leave negative 2y by itself. Negative x plus 10. Divide everything this time by negative 2. And when we do that, we get an equation y equals, this time it's just x over 2, minus 5. So all I've done is just put them in the form y equals mx plus b, because now I can solve them on my graph here. Let's look at the first equation. y-intercept is 3. So I go to the point 3 and put a dot. From there, I have a slope of, remember, this is the same as negative 1x, so our slope is negative 1 half. So negative slope from my y-intercept, I go down 1 and over 2. Down 1, over 2, or I could go up 1 and to the left, right. So it's either a negative rise, which is down, or a negative run, which is to the right. And after I have a few points, I'm just going to draw myself a straight line through those points, just like so. Now we do the same thing with the second equation. We go to the y-intercept of negative 5, starting at 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And this time we have a slope of 1 half, so we rise 1, run 2. Rise 1, run 2, etc. And I need to draw my line. Now, it's always good when you're drawing a line to have more than two points. Mathematically, we only need two points to draw a straight line. But when we're drawing a graph, it's always best to have 
a few points so we can extend this line all the way through like so. I want to be very precise here and it turns out I'm going to have to extend my other line but that's okay. I just take my ruler or in this case my computer and I am going to extend it just like so until we find the point that the two lines cross. And it's pretty clear where the two lines cross, right here at this point. That's our solution. We don't leave it like that, though. We need to write our solution. So the solution in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 over in the X. And down 1 in the Y. So we get a point of negative, or 8 and negative 1. There's our solution to that system of equations. Let's look at another example. Solve this system of equations by graphing. Now this system of equations is already in the form y equals mx plus b, which makes me happy because all I have to do is just graph it. And by graphing it, I'm just going to move the graph over a little bit here so it's in the middle. I don't have to do any work graphing it. Straightforward, start with the first equation. Y intercept is negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Rise of 2, run of 1. Remember, if we have 2x, that's like 2x over 1. So we rise 2, run 1, rise 2, run 1. And I'm going to put 4 points in this case, and then I'm going to connect the dots. Whenever you're graphing, make sure you are using a ruler or a straight edge of some type. And we're going to connect the dots here. And I'm just going to adjust my line just a little bit because I want to be as precise as possible to make sure we go through those points. All right, that's the first equation. Now let's look at the second equation. Second equation has a y-intercept of 4. And this time the slope is negative 3 over 1. So I can go down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. Or for my y-intercept, I could go up 3 to the left 1. It doesn't matter. Put my line in. Try and connect these dots the best I can. Like so. So let me just adjust that a little bit here. Now, the first thing you should notice is that as precise as I'm trying to be here, the solution doesn't cross at a nice point. This is definitely where they cross, but what is that point? I don't know. Looks like about one and uh, two thirds, maybe, and negative two thirds or negative three quarters. This is the problem with graphing. So graphing is not the best technique to use. It does work when the numbers are nice and it crosses at a nice point. But in this case, we would not be able to solve this system of equations. At best, we could guess. And in math, we don't want to guess. So we're going to look at other system, other methods to solve as well. That's graphing a system of equations.